Hey, it's Peach Dude Man. We're back, and I'm all healed up. So, and his waifu. Yep. So we should all be ready to fight Gorrigan now, the boss of here. Of the Poke, boss of, of here. Of Pokey Pyramid Land. Hey, Gorrigan. How you doing? Not only is he a head scientist, he's a big angry gorilla muscle muscle man. Where are all my crew? You wiped Where them really out. Do. Every last one. Dude, I think you need to get your face checked. Impossible! One kid took out all those shadow Pokemon we made? Ugh! In Bucky, my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing. Ugh! Gah. I think he's just gonna, you know, um. punch me rather than do a Pokemon battle. You've done it now! I'm steaming mad and there's no forgiving that. Ever! Be prepared to drop! Like all right. the base? Yeah. Gonna drop the base? Here's Gore again. He uses monkey Pokemon. He looks like a monkey. Like Laron and Celio, the oh, best, the best man. monkey Pokemon. Man, those are very monkey Pokemon. <laughs> Let's give them bananas. I'm sure they love them. Do you like bananas, Thunderbolt, and? I do like bananas, but they give me heartburn. Oh really? Oh yeah, this guy uses all, like pretty much all Earthquake and Protect, if I remember co correctly. Which is dangerous, but we should be okay, because, like, Ampharos should just absolutely destroy the Celio. <laughs> Energy Man is so powerful with the... I mean, oh my gosh. These moves are just so overpowered back in third gen. Slow King! Hey, look, another thing for us to blast into oblivion with Thunderbolt! Hooray! Thunder, 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 thunderbolt! Thunderbolt! Oh, he didn't even protect anything this time. Flamethrower, that won't kill it, probably. Oh, never mind, it killed it. Yay, we're so good at killing, killing, like and killing. You like Laron? Mm -hmm. A lot of people do. Larions are cute. Yay. Cutie, cutie, Another cutie, Ursaring. Cutie. Wow, you know, I always remember Gorrigan being one of the tougher bosses for me as a kid. We're absolutely mopping the floor with him right now. I maybe have overtrained my Pokemon a little bit. I don't know. Primate, there's the monkey. I think it's a shadow monkey. Shadow, shadow monkey. Yep, it's a shadow primate. All right. Um, we're gonna thunder wave it and flamethrower ursaring. Shadow rush. Ooh, bam! That's gonna hurt. Ouch. Come on, toaster. That's pretty good. I need to clean our toaster. Oh, really? Is it dirty? Our toaster's kind of gross. I haven't used it in forever. We haven't used it in forever because we don't eat bread anymore. And you don't buy it anymore. It's just we never eat it fast enough. That's true. It gets all moldy before we were ready, able to finish it. Because well, it's, cause it's just it's the just, two of us. It's just the two of us. And then, like, here things mold like crazy. Like That's true. I remember back when we were in, like, Pullman and... I could keep bread for longer than like a week and a half, or even longer, like two weeks before it molded. But here it's like you leave the bread out for a week and it fucking molds like crazy. Like that one bread we got from Sherms, like we only had it for like two days. Not two days. We had it for like three days and it like molded on us. But that was because there was condensation in the bread bag for some weird reason. Uh huh. That was really gross. Let's see how lucky we can get on catching this primate. Primate! I've always liked Primate. Oh, speaking of gross, uh, one of my coworkers found a cockroach in her cubicle. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. that's not good. No, it was Renee that found it too. Oh, uh, jeez. So, like, she came in and, like, saw the things screwing around her cubicle and just smushed it with her boot. Ha 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 ha. But gosh, I yeah. I think this thing might be a shadow as well. I don't know how a cockroach could have gotten in our building. It walked. So nasty. What's wrong with cockroaches? They're na they're like they eat trash and gross things. And oh, it's just so someone eats trash <laughs> means that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're not going there, Isaac. How come there's no cockroach Pokemon? Ah, uh, because cockroaches are nasty. So, we have a garbage Pokemon. I don't know. 
<laughs> it's just, you know, roaches are, like, associated with, like, unkept decay and grossness, you know? What are garbage bags associated with? Decay and grossness. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, if you see the cockroaches in the building, it, yeah. you know, like, someone's not taking care of their building. Remember that um, one time we found, like, the cockroach that was, like, dead hanging on the wall? That was really weird. That was weird. It wasn't even, like, moving or living. It was just there Most on the wall. Most things that aren't living don't move. Most things. So it was just on the wall. And then, Yay, like, you, like, it. touched it and it just fell and it was dead. And you're like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> Take oh. that, Hypno. Shadow Storm, I think that's going to finish off Ampharos. Bye, energy man. No! It's a girl, so I, have to, I should call her energy man. Bowser's a girl, too, though. So. Who needs gender assigned names? Nobody. Any name, any gender. If you want to be a girl named Bob, do it. We're going to name our daughter Bill. Oh, yeah, I was about to use Bite. I'm like, wait a minute, that's super effective. Let's not do that. Did you ever watch Mr. Bill? Uh, yes. I watched it a lot when I was a kid. Because <laughs> my dad loved it. Oh, of course. He loves claymation like that. Like Bill, Mr. Bill, Gumby, Gumby. Wallace and Gromit. Um, I think that's why, like... We watched a lot of Tim Burton movies when I was little, because, like, Tim Burton did a lot of stop-motion stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to risk hitting it anymore, but I guess I will. I mean, hey, I've already lost two guys. What's a third? Done. Done. bum ba -da. Catch the hypno with this ball! Have you seen Paranorman? Oh, my God, are you kidding me? No, I actually have not seen Paranorman. Oh my gosh, you need to see Paranorman. Okay. Like, it's not, like, an amazing movie, but it's got a lot of really new stuff to it that's nice to see. And I like the style. It's a really cute style. Okay, I... Consider zombies cute. What the hell was that? I don't want to try Office 365 free for a month. You're interrupting my recording, stupid computer. Stop trying to sell me things! fuck out of here. I hate that. Like, I could be doing something and then a notification pops up and interrupts me. It's a notification selling you stuff you don't need either. Which I find, like, is the most annoying thing about this new Microsoft update is that it's trying to, like, sell you shit. Like, it's like I mean, I'm gonna be recording. Let's plays. And I want things to pop and go, Peter, do you? I'm trying to record. Or, like, you know, I'd like to have my personal hypno. computer not have ads on it. Like, this is why I have ad blocker. Yes, I'm a horrible, like, human being that doesn't- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see how he overreacted? Yeah, but that's just how it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's it! You're not getting away with this! No way, no how, no ifs or buts! I wonder what his bone structure looks like. I'm not taking this! I'll blow up the factory with you in it! <laughs> wow, you're an idiot, dude. Oh my god! It's- it's- it's Mr. Uh, it's my boss! Verche! Gorigan, that is quite enough. Except that you have lost. I don't want you blowing up my M building, you Master Grievel! So this is like a nice old man we met earlier in the game, but as it turns out, he's actually the main bad guy. Oh no! Ho ho ho! We meet is again. Is he Santa? You do remember- you, you do remember me, don't you, little boy? It's Santa! Yes, indeed! I am Santa Claus! Or perhaps I should say, Grievel, the Grand Master of Cypher Claus! It's Santa! I must say, I am taken aback! Oh. I never once imagined that you would destroy our factory and all the elves inside! I know him! But that's not important. Even though the mass output of Christmas toys has ended, our plan itself is unharmed. We have already completed Rudolph's final tuning. It now rests with me. Rudolph, the ultimate shadow reindeer that's resisted to purification? <laughs> now I shall prepare our final plan to activate XT-001. Do you honestly think you can stop me? 
I shall be at Cyphers HQ. It is on Citadar. It is in the North Pole off the coast of Gadeon Port. Why is he telling you where this is? I don't... What, I, why do villains do any of this? It is an impregnable fort... It's, it's, it's a pregnant fortress that repels... Oh my! ...all with... Uh, sl blizzards and thick clouds. With no mood one, no swings one can reach and it. hunger pains. Come if you dare. I'll be in joy way for you. Ho, 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 ho. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all. And an all a good night. Okay, Master Grievel is now Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Claus has such a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> No ordinary ship can get close because of the rough seas. And even if you do manage to get on the island, the place will be swarming with trainers carrying the shadow reindeer I made. Even though there should be a lot more shadow reindeer. If Rudolph didn't drop that ship in the desert, we, would have take, we wouldn't have taken so long tuning the shadow reindeer. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. There's plenty of shadow reindeer to welcome you in style. How many are there? <laughs> I can't tell you that. If I did, it'd floor you. There's 86. It's just a matter of time before the world belongs to us. You'd better be ready for it. Okay, bye. Nice talking to you, weirdo. Oh, I got a list of the shadow Pokemon. Huh, he wouldn't tell me. He left a detailed list sitting on his desk. Wow, these people are stupid. The, yes, I know. Why do they make villains so stupid? Oh, we could you know, why not? I mean, even Orochimaru is stupid. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, remember when we were talking about that earlier? Like, Yeah, so we missed Venomoth oh and Arbok. Gosh. And then here's everything we have yet to encounter. And it's all in the final area, pretty much. There's a few exceptions, but mostly. Okay. We have a long walk back to anywhere. Anywhere. So. Elsewhere. Um... I don't know if there's any cutscene stuff that's gonna happen between now and like going somewhere else. I'm not even sure. Like, do I think I go to? Ga I'm supposed to go to Gadeon Port next. I'm probably gonna go back to the lab first because we have some Pokemon to purify. Um, but I'm not sure if there's gonna be a cutscene in front of this pyramid first. So I don't want to just do a jump cut yet. Um, we'll see. We have Pokemon to purify, and then we'll do some shit. Do we need to heal? Yes, we fucking do. I'll meet you somewhere where there's something important to do. Oh, something important happened. Oh, no. Darn it, I give guess. it back. Bring it back. What? what? These two weird guys took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had, like, a mohawk, and the other had hair like a ball. Oh, great. Mir B took some stuff. Darn it, they made off with the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. Well, I guess I didn't have to wait too long before something important happened. I, there was no point in me doing a jump cut. Well, too late. It's too late to change my mind. It's too late. Oh, those two passed out guys are, are gone. I'm just oh, no, they got kidnapped. I'm just assuming they fell in the water oh, and died. Oh, we must find them. No, no, they were bad guys. No, so no one they cares. Were uh, I said I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, but I'm just gonna go back to the lab because I gotta purify some some stuff. Too late to apologize. I like that song. It's too late. It's too late. Eh, eh, All right, eh. so purifying Pokemon might not be as exciting anymore since we're not naming them after subscribers anymore. But uh, uh I still want to you know show the process. Can we name one Dibbly Dob? I will name the whatever the first one happens to be. We'll name it Dibbly Dob. Dibbly Dob. I took these guys out really quick so that I could um, uh, make room for other shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. You took them out to lunch. I took them out to lunch. You need to take me out to lunch. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, wait. How do I purify again? Except I have no idea when I have my lunches. Oh. I just kind of take them whenever. Uh, there we go. I press A on this thing. Now we're, we're gonna we're gonna purify first. We're purifying Shelter. Shelter. So what happens is the Shadow Pokemon have Shadow moves, but once they become purified, they become normal Pokemon moves, which are usually moves that the Pokemon don't normally learn. So Pokemon XD, Pokemon Coliseum give you a lot of really neat Pokemon. So let's see what the Shelter learns. Shelter learned Takedown. That's pretty cool. Shelter learned Refresh. That's nice. 
A lot of the Pokemon learn Refresh, which is cool. All right, and we're, we're naming him Dibbly Dob. <laughs> uh, Dibbly. It's actually a girl. We're naming her Dibbly Dob. Dibbly Dob done. Is Dibbly Dob okay? Yeah. Dibbly do. The dib the Dibbly Dob will be transferred to the PC storage storage system. <laughs> The Dibbly Dob. Dibbly Dob. Alright, now we're purifying Nose Pass. You should name him Gazuntite. Gazuntite. Okay, I don't know how to spell it, so I'll do my best. I actually, I'm since I don't know how to spell it, I'll intentionally misspell it. Alright, Nose Pass opened the door to its heart. What did it learn? You opened the nose door. Nose Oh my god, Thunderbolt? That's awesome! Thunderbolting Nose Pass. And Leave helping in the hand. heart of the Pokemon. All right, what else? Oh yeah, yeah, I got a ribbon. So, okay, I'm just gonna totally misspell it. Ga, I get so many female Pokemon. Ga, it's your Poke Harem. Oh wait, Gazoon. Uh, I got four letters left, so I'll go Gazoon Tight. There we go, Gazoon Tight. <laughs> Is Gazoon Tight okay? Yes. yes. The Gazoon Tite will be transferred to the PC store system. There's another Pokemon ready to open its heart. Togepi! Togepi doesn't matter what we name it, because I'm actually not going to keep it. Oh. So I'm going I'm to name it whatever I feel like. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. What I find really fun is to name a Pokemon not what it's supposed to be. Like, name a di name of a different Pokemon. Uh-huh. Like, I have a Garbodor that I named Gardevoir. Oh, that's pretty good. And so, like, whenever I'm fighting someone says, blah, 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 um, chose Gardevoir, and it's just a Garbodor instead. Uh-huh. It's so great. I should get something, like, really stupid, like a Bidoof, and name it, um, like, something really, like, an awesome Pokemon. Yeah. Like... Lucario. Alright, what's next to purify its heart? <laughs> Growlithe! Growlithe! Growlithe is Lord Jackal's favorite Pokemon. Oh, Growlithe's pretty cool. Dun dun dun! What does this Growlithe learn? I wasn't even paying attention to the Togepi at all. I think it learned Helping Hand and Follow Me. I don't know. What does this Growlithe follow learn? Me. Set, Set me free. free! Wow, Flamethrower! That's yeah, cool. Nah, 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 what else? Charm? Okay. Nah, 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 nah. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. What should we name this Growlithe? Potato. I'm gonna, I'm gonna capitalize it all with an exclamation mark. <laughs> I want to get a dog and name it Potato, but it has to be like a fat dog. So if we ever get a fat dog, I want to name it Potato. Okay. There. Potato. The potato will be transferred to the PC storage system. <laughs> How, oh my gosh. Last one for now. Did I tell we you? We got a Paris. Did I tell you about the dog that I wanted to call Potato? Yeah, you, you just did. No, 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 not that one. Okay. So, our paper does a thing called Furry Tale Times where we do, like, an advertisement for all the adopted right, pets. Right, right, yeah. Um, and there was this one dog that was a fat chihuahua mix that was tan, and it looked so happy, but str looked like it was struggling, too, at the same time. Like... What should I name it, Paris? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, so it was, um, it was the cutest thing, and it had pictures of it, like, running, and in her description, the first line was like, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I like to dance. <laughs> it's just really the cutest there, fat I don't chihuahua. Know. And so, like, I wanted to adopt her and name her Potato. Because she looked like a potato with little scrawny legs. Alright, see you guys next time. Potatoes!